citizens on passing two important votes this week. It proves that the citizens care quite a bit about Miamisburg as a community and their schools. Um, I wanted to thank you for coming out to celebrate 100 years of libraries in Miamisburg. And again, my name is Nancy Horlacher, and I'm the local history specialist at the Dayton Metro Library. And I'm honored to be here to share with you the story of the beginning of the Miamisburg, Carnegie, and Public Library. In 1853, the Miamisburg City Council, first, I guess it would have been a village council at the time, um, first authorized the building of a library. And according to accounts in the local newspaper, a people's library was organized in 1879 although a school library existed for many years. It was a well-known fact that there was a need for a really good community library, but it wasn't until 1908 that the Monday Night Club, a woman's literary club still in existence, I might add, and represented here today, formed a partnership with other community organizations to form a committee to petition the village to seek funding from Andrew Carnegie, the steel magnate and philanthropist who saw the importance for the need of libraries all over America. Carnegie accepted the application and promised $12,500 to build the building next door. But that was providing the city, or the village, furnished the site and assure annual funding at a rate of 10% of his original gift. This provision was unanimously accepted by the village council. And the site chosen was the park. The cornerstone for the fine building was laid July 9th, 1909. <coughs> Mr. Carnegie <coughs> had given away $51 million for libraries by June of 1909. 